Hello, ball bags. Great to see you. Welcome to frame 137 of Me 1 vs. Me 2 Snooker. It's a continuing match in which uh, we try to find out who's best at Snooker, Me 1 or Me 2. Thank you to TXU. It's just subscribed with Prime for 22 months. That's two years. Thanks for your uh, contribution. Do use your Amazon Prime uh, Twitch contribution if you can. It's free to you. Um, don't have to give it to me. There's lots of people on Twitch who would love to have your free money. So don't just let it sit there. You have to come back every month and do it again. It's faintly annoying, but it's uh, £5 or £3.50, I think the uh, person gets. So why not do that? Anyway, this is not about Twitch. This is about snooker. Snooker. Nothing ex more than snooker apart from the football scores and also a, a puppet that um, predicts the future. What's, what's become of this? It's like Scrappy Doo. It's like Scrappy Doo of Me One versus Me Two Snooker. The big, the big bosses have made us put in stuff to try and attract viewers, and it's really working. Uh, I see fifty nine viewers. Uh, the chat room is saying seventy nine. It's the, it's pretty bad, pretty low. Thank you to Velvet Cactus. Twenty three months, not as good as it should have done that another time. Uh, 59 says the scruff with a cat. Okay, that's good. 81 says Andy McKech. It's all changing. Who knows how many people it is. It's going up. Uh, before we start, I should say that Jimmy Wang Yu's family got in touch and said they believed that um, that I was mocking his name. They would have been delighted to have this nuclear arena named after him uh, and implying that all his films included masturbation. Um, that is not... That was... Nothing could have been further from my mind. Uh, so we are now in the Traian Stanescu arena. You know Traian. Uh, he is... Um, I've lost his page now. But you know, he is... I don't, he, 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 I'm sorry to... He has died, first of all. Apologies for that. Uh, secondly, uh, you know, all know who he is. You know, he is probably my favourite Romanian actor. He was in The Silver Mask. He was in with uh, Jimmy Wang Yu. He had to have a silver mask because Jimmy Wang Yu was masturbating all, all the way through that film. He was in... Rascaola, he was in Trandafiral Galban. I mean, those are his three big ones. Um, his son's an actor, and uh, hopefully he uh, he won't complain about that. Anyway, look, I know what uh, all of you are wanting. And before I crack on with this today, it's important to get this in as early as possible. I've had uh, so many emails in, hundreds and hundreds of emails. Uh, from a grieved football fan saying, why did I give some results out there? What they want is the 803, 804 scores for matches that are underway, maybe just underway, or um, they've been underway for a few minutes, or, you know, as long as they're still going. And a lot of these people are people who don't watch live, who watch, and they say oh, they're not interested in the results. They can get the results. What they want to know is what was the score at approximately 803. It's approximately 803. Uh, Bayern Munich are playing Villarreal. It was uh, 20 nil a minute ago, but now it's there are 20 goals disallowed uh, for Bayern Munich, and uh, it's nil nil aggregate nil one. Uh, Real Madrid, yeah, not Real Madrid. Are playing Chelsea again 20 nil a minute ago. Now nil nil aggregate three one to Real Madrid. Wow. Uh, Women's World Cup qualifying is going on. Now I'm not going to give you the results. I'll give you the go, go games that are underway. Scotland are playing Spain. They're one nil down. That would be disappointing to the Scottish women who uh, will be wanting to win that match. That's what they're doing. Netherlands versus Belarus is postponed. I don't know when it was postponed, so I've got to give you that just in case that is a current one. Uh, England playing Northern Ireland. It's uh, it's a derby between two of the U United Kingdom's teams. Uh, both of them really vying for that place in the World Cup. Both of them really needing a result today to... Uh, Make that happen, nil nil at the moment. Uh, Kosovo have been playing. It's the second half. It's one minute into the second half. Kosovo, uh, I, you know, I'm not the best world women's world club. I would say they're three nil down at home to Belgium. Uh, Portugal, it's half time against Bulgaria, three nil. Um, France at twenty, Slovenia ten. That is an amazing scoreline and a low. A lot of times in the women's game, uh, things are a bit one sided and you see quite a lot of goals going in for one team for. One team to have 20 and one to have 10. That is uh, very, very exciting. Uh, so well done to Slovenia. France are a big club, of course, in on the women's football stage. Um, 
Osprey 1, Burton Albion 0, Wigan 0, Portsmouth 0, Rotherham United 0. Some more women's international friendlies all finished. Uh, women's international friendly USA 0-0, Uzbekistan women 0-0. So they're actually double nils. They failed to score twice. Uh, brilliant news from the National League North. What fantastic... Uh, what a fantastic day it is. Chorley nil, York City one. And that would that that goal has just flown in. I'll see if I can give you more information on that. A lot of fans of York City, uh, of course, watch this. Watch this podcast uh, and watch this whatever it is. Um, just seeing if I can catch what what happened with the goal there. Gonna have to just bear with me. This is important stuff. Uh, it's not every day you get to York City on this show. Most weeks, though. Uh, Kurt Willoughby, of course. Uh, it was a great ball over to Dyson, to John Lewis. That's his name. He's not John Lewis. John hyphen Lewis. That's his surname on the right. An even better bat ball across the world allows Willoughby a tap in at the back post. That is a goal. 1-0 to York. They need that win uh, if it were, goes to be a win uh, because uh, they had a couple of few bad results and uh, just hovering around uh, the playoff zone. Some games in hand. This is one of the games in hand. Kettering nil, Geisley nil, and Southport nil, Leamington nil. In the Lowland League, Celtic B nil, Rangers B nil. Uh, the Civil Service Strollers are 1 nil up against Bonus United. That's a bonus for the Civil Service Strollers. Just they're not making light of their name, they're just a little bit of uh, humour. And that's, the, that's it for the current scores. Not so many current scores today. Um, nothing much has uh, changed. Uh, as since we've been through those scores, but yeah, that one nil to York City. Um, Pete Jameson has just denied Milanek Alley from a distance as well. Uh, Willoughby did get the ball on the left. He's hungry for more as he cuts inside and goes for a goal, but it's deflected wide. So uh, hopefully, Kurt Willoughby on for a, a hat trick there. And that's uh, all the sports at eight oh three to eight oh seven. That's all the football. Um, we'll leave that for now. Uh, Try and. Stanescu looking down, he must be pleased. I'm sure he was not only a fan of uh, self play snooker, but a big fan of York City. Uh, and some people have said, why are you doing the two-team football results, Richard? When the self playing snooker league gets off the ground, I will report those scores and those scores only. But for now, we have to, we're trying to tempt in the uh, traditional players. Um, Let's go over to uh, our, our scrappy do the scrappy do of self playing snooker. She's trying to revive the ratings. We're up to 108, so maybe they're being re uh, revived. And here they are. Oh, hello! It is me, Sybil. I see everything. I see nothing. I am everywhere. I am nowhere. Uh, do you see the uh, the the viewing figures for this picking up at all? Yes, I think by the end of the year, this will have a million views on YouTube, this one episode. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. Well, that, that means I've probably died or been convicted of some awful crime. Perhaps, Richard, what are you prepared to do to get the viewing figures? I'm prepared to do anything. If it's murder, if it, if it needs murder, so let it be shall. I uh, can't remember what predictions you made last week about the world, but you did predict the winner, I'm, I'm against all odds, uh, in quite a chilling uh, bit of accuracy, actually. Yes, I am always right. Well, you got the first lot wrong. Did I, Richard? The, did I? Did I, viewers? I don't think so. I see it all. I see it all, Andy McCage. I know what you're doing. Stop doing that, Andy McCage. Andy McCage would never do that, whilst he has too much respect for the scores. Um, it was uh, a very close frame last week. Sorry, look at the wrong page. 31-33. Me too, won by two points. You predicted he would win by 13. Yes, that you have to read the tweet. Well, first of all, 33 is 13 on the scoreboard. It's 20 and goes up in 20s. 31 backwards is 13 as well. So that's... And then and then two threes. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, it's very exciting. Well, the current scores. Uh, who do you think? Well, let's get, get this out. I haven't given the current. Don't look at me. Don't look at me in the eye. You, Richard, what's going to happen to me this week? You will have to clear up a child sick. Well, I've just done that. It will happen again. Well, that's not that much of a prediction. I've had to do two sicks this week and two nosebleeds in the last ten days from two different kids. It's horrible having children. It's full of stuff that keeps on coming out. 
all over the place. Um, what do you think the the result will be? Oh, don't look at me. Oh, those eyes are terrifying. Um, can you see them? It's hard. There, look. It's not. It's not the same when you see them in real life. It they actually glow a little bit. Uh, what do you think the result will be today? Today, Neon will win by seven points. That I have said that no man put us under. Okay. Me want to win by seven points is the prediction from. Uh, she's got a run of two. That's two in a row. She's got the right um, person to win. So that's exciting. Um, it is currently, after last week's 31-33, very close. Me too seem to be out of it. Then bang, back in it. He, and he won it with the last four balls of the match going to him. Uh, it's 61-68, seven frames ahead. I mean, if Me too does win today, I just can't see me one coming back from that. That's uh, however long we play for. I can't see that happening. I know I say that every week, but I, you know, I have to commentate as I see it. Let's get the guys up here. Let's see how they're feeling. I can see me one is just sitting down. He's wearing his back back to front. I hate that donkey t-shirt. How are you doing, me one? Well, Richard, uh, I'm um, I'm very much ready for. I've got a little man up there saying thanks. Is me? That's me saying thank you um, for having me. Um, uh, I am looking forward to. You know, I should have won last week. I let you down. I let my fans down um i let boris johnson down he's a man of honor he's a man who does everything he said he would do and he's coughed up for them in one mistake and i think we should leave it there let's be kind to him first of all and and richie sunak as well let him be richie sunak yeah richie sunak let him let him you know pay his fine go and live in california he can't take over as prime minister not after he's not after what he did with the garden parties and stuff and, the, and when everyone was working and he was partying. He is not fit to be Prime Minister because of that. But, um, you know, Boris Johnson, a great man. I'll be channelling him on the old green board tonight. Um, he's a winner all the way. Do you see him on the streets of Ukraine? Brave. He's a brave man. Kiev, he was just in Kiev walking around. Bombs could have flown on him at any time. He's a big guy as well, so we'd easily definitely got hit. Um, so I'm, for Boris Johnson tonight, I'm going to try and win this. And if, if it's seven points, fine. Uh, but I think it'll be more than that. I don't want to just. I don't want to get on the wrong side of Sybil. Well, very exciting uh, to have you here. And uh, you know, you you were unlucky last week, me. When I felt bad for you, even though I abhor everything you stand for as a man, uh, apart from the bit of being in a faithful marriage and uh, being a good dad. But all your politics and stuff is. Uh, Right up the chute. Uh, me too's just sitting down. How are you feel? You ready to go? I am ready, Richard, for 69. That's right. If I win today, I'll have 69 frames. 69. And, um, yeah. It'll be, I'll, die. I'll be... Yeah, me one will be sucking my cock in the 69. Um, I won't be sucking his cock, though, even though it's a 69. Um, I Because I'll have won. So I'll just... I'll sort of be there forming the number of the 69. But... I'll just be enjoying having my cock sucked by by yourself. Well, not exactly myself, is he? He's not exactly the same as me. But, you know, it's not... You know, you just you want to be sucked off by by someone who looks exactly like yourself. No, I don't want to be. I'm just... that's I'm, You know, I'm going to win and that's what's going to happen. Um, and if it's a 69, you'll be also sucking yourself off. Well, if I could do that, I wouldn't need me one, would I? So... Um, but what well, my point is, I'm going to win. I'm on 68 now, and after this, I'll be on 69, and it'll be 69, 61, uh, and I'll be eight frames ahead. Is I'm doing it for my fans out there. I know there's a lot of fans out there. I'm doing it for um, uh, Keir Starmer. He's doing such a great job as leader of the office. Really, there's an open goal there, and he's really. Allowing it just to stay up. He's giving everyone a sporting chance to shut it up again. And that's why I have to respect him. I'm a, I'm a Labour man through and through. And um, that's why I respect uh, Keir Starmer for, uh, you know, his fair, his sense of fair play. And maybe if maybe if Boris Johnson had that too, we wouldn't be in such a mess. I don't know. But let's let the snooker do the talk. I don't want to get into politics. Um, I don't want to get into whether it's right or wrong to be married or single. Uh, I just want to see who's best at playing snooker. Well, me too. Um, me too. <laughs> that was uh, completely accidental, but what, how very amusing it was. Just checking up on the old uh, York City score. I know that you... I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm just looking for my... Oh, look at 
checking for myself. Um, so um, let's go over to commentator one, commentator two in the uh, Traian Stanescu, which hopefully next week will be the Boris Johnson arena. You know, you can live in hope. I predict it will be. Okay, we'll see. So he's got to die on Tuesday. Yes. I'm going to look bad if you, I mean, you will make it happen, Richard, you thought the lead me, do as I say, kill the Prime Minister, don't say, go get our thing taken down and I'll have the SAS up my ass if you stay there, I don't, I'm not going to kill the Prime Minister, I promise. Uh, let's go over to commentator one, commentator two in the um, Traian Stanescu Arena. How are you doing? Well, Richard, it's great to be here, I can just see you sitting back there. You know, having a little drink of beer, I can see a little drip, drink of beer. You deserve that, son. You get that down, you. Um, I'm here with commentator two. Are we on? Yes, there we are. There's the, that's what the board looks like from above. I believe it's me one to break tonight. How are you feeling about all of this, commentator one? Um, sorry, commentator two. I'm commentator one. How are you feeling about this, commentator two? Well, commentator one. Uh, I'm feeling the same amount of ambivalence and embarrassment as usual. Um, the only fun thing will be if Me Too wins and it, there's a 69 on the board. Imagine though, commentator two, if he wins by when he scores 69. Uh, in his, um, imagine if that's the double, but when I mean, he wins 69, 61, and it's 69, 69, 61, that'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, you, you do the rest. Okay, so it's we're here at uh, the Traian Stanescu Arena. Me one is breaking, I think. I felt like he broke last week, but uh, here we go, me one. Oh, he's not only gone in off, but I'm pretty sure he hit the pink first there. And so is referee one. You can always rely on referee one. He sees everything, he never makes an error. It's six points to me two, which is unusual to have such a bad foul so early, but me two. Could stretch his lead here. Oh, look at that. He's potted two. No, just one, but a beautiful pot of the... Oh, so nearly got on the black as well. He's going for the blue. He's missed it, but left the cue ball safely down there. So a nice pot. Just showing me one who's boss here. And I mean, you know, a lot of you will be hoping for that 69. Me one. Oh, he looked like he went for the one in the top left-hand corner, but he hit the other one. It's gone to the top right-hand corner. Fantastic play from me one. Can he get this black? Well, he did well to hit it, I think. He's off the mark. He's got one point. It's seven one. Me too would like to wrap this up nice and early, and that's a good start to wrapping up nice and early. Oh, he didn't get on the brown. The blue, I think, is a little too far away from that. He's going for the green. Oh, and actually overcut it, unbelievably. So me too. Moses on up to eight points. Me one. Oh, he twatted that just a little bit too hard as it turned out. Nothing went down. Could have done something. Nearly went into the centre pocket. Don't think he can quite get that red. Me too. Past the other red. No, he can't. He tried it anyway. He tried to defeat physics. Me one. It's all worked out pretty well for me one. Me one. Oh, beautiful shot. He doubles that into the top pocket. Many people have just done the single. <sighs> Doesn't really know what to do now. He's going for the brown. Has he doubled that? No, he's gone in off. So me one scores one, but gives away four. Gaggly dink, gaggly dink. Me one, two. Me two. Twelve. Me two. Looking in an unassailable position, but we thought that last week for me, me one. Nothing is predictable in this, but oh, a lovely ch uh, attempt at a plant from me too. Doesn't pay off for him. Me one. Just tw oh, he tries to double the the red in, but the red hits the green and pots the green. Incredible trick shot. To have been trying to do it, but it's another four points to me too. He doesn't really have to do much this week. <sighs> me too. He's going to try and double this. I think. Oh, he's got it. Oh. Oh, he so nearly goes in off, but he doesn't. Me one now. He's potted. That's nice. Can he get on the pink? He's hit the pink. Me one's got the highest break of the frame so far. Could this be his road back? He need desperately needs a win today. Can will he prove Sybil right? Oh, he's missed an easy shot to the top. I thought he was going to get a big break there. 
It's just seven. Cackly dink, cackly dink, me one nine. Cackly me two, cackly dink, cackly dink. Sixteen. Me two. Oh, this could be an amazing shot. Look what he's done. Oh, not just not hard enough. And he would have been on a break of eight there for sure if he got that in. Me one. Tries to double up. He's made a mistake. Me two pots. And now he's on for the break of eight. They're beautifully done there. Great positioning. He can't miss that. That's a break of eight already. Highest break of the frame. You don't see many breaks this high. Can he make it nine? Oh, can he? Yes, he can. Can he fix it? Yes, he can. Can he get this green? It'll be an amazing shot. That red was pretty amazing. No, it was a difficult, uh, it was a difficult to get on the shot there, but he's got a break of nine, me too, and it's looking like it's just getting away from me one. Me one could have rolled along the, the board. Oh, oh, me too. He couldn't really get that one in, and that was all he could do. It looked easy, but it wasn't. Me one. Just whacking it. Nearly pots the pink. Me two. Oh! Oh, he gets lucky. He nearly knocks the pink in my mistake. Me one. Nothing he can do. Oh, I said there's nothing he can do. He looked like he didn't even think he could get that in, and he just almost a miss hit, I think. He's potted a brilliant red. Can he pot a brilliant black? Oh my God, he's equaled the highest, oh no, the second highest, it's the second highest break so far, sorry, I got ahead of myself. And he's, don't think he's gonna equal the top break because he's snooking himself pretty badly here. Oh, oh, misses both reds, so gets eight. So it gives away four. Calculating, calculating, me one, 17, me two, 29. Well, it's not over yet. Me two. Trying for a snooker, but has just left this red wide open for me one. He misses it, nearly goes in off, doesn't. Me two. Has he got a snooker? No. Me one. Two reds left on the board. For those listening to... Oh! 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 So much nearly happened there, but nothing happened. Me two. Whoa! What a pot! Me two pots are red. The brown tantalizingly over the pocket, but he goes for the yellow. Nearly pots the yellow, but then pots the, the cue ball instead. So me two gets one point, but gives away four points. And now I think we have a match on our hands. Calculating, calculating. Me one, 21. Me two, 30. Me one, lots of cue balls over lots of pockets. Me one, oh, goes for the double. And he could just have sealed his fate there by missing that one. Me too. Oh, he could just have sealed his fate by missing that one. Although, has he got a snooker? I think it will be hard not to have a snooker behind that lot of colors. Me one. Misses, 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 misses. Four points to me too. And an easy shot for me too, surely here. He wraps up the reds. Has he come up for the... Brown, he can't quite get the brown. Can he get the yellow? He can get the yellow. He's come down the board to try and get on the yellow again. Look at that. That is class from me too there. A lot of people say these players haven't improved. He hasn't actually quite got that in the right place, but nearly, nearly amazing. And he's gonna go for a snooker. It's not really like him and he's really failed it. He's got a break of three. Me one has a lot to do here. Can he do it? There's the yellow. Can he take all of these colors? He's got to be careful here. Oh, oh, he's gone in off. I was going to say he has been careful, but he hasn't. Me one, <laughs> I didn't spot it. Me one gets two, gives away four. And it's looking bad news for me one. It's looking good news for people who like 69ers. It's 23 place 41. Me too at the hockey. Might have been able to see his bum. Oh, look, they put a bit of spin on that so he could come knock the brown in. Oh, this could be, he could clear the board here, me too. He's got the green, he's got the brown. 
he's got the blue. He's certainly won the frame. Can he get this pink? This will be a tricky one. Oh, not too bad, but not quite there. So a break of 12 for me too. Smashing him up to 53, place 23. There's 30 points in it. 13 on the board. Me one is, oh, he's accidentally potted the pink, trying to avoid the pink. He might as well improve his score. He pots the 13. Yeah, gets the black, gets the 13. He goes up to 36, but 53 is the winning score. 36-53. Sybil's reign of terror has come to an end. 36-53. And it's the magic number. 61 frames to 69 frames. How wonderful to see that number popping up there. Commentate too, you're happy? I am happy. That's all I've been here for the last 10, 11 years. Uh, just waiting to see someone get to fucking 69 frames while the other person has 61 frames. Played 137 fucking frames plus all that shit you did during lockdown as well. Well, I have to say me too just seems to be the better play here. He's now eight frames in the lead. We thought it could never happen. We thought we had two well-matched players, but me one has only won about one frame in the last few and uh, utterly embarrassing for all concerned. Um, I think even me too is embarrassed by his supremacy. Uh, but thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. Um, I'm not just checking the York City score. Don't you worry about that. That's the last thing on my mind. Still 1-0 to York, I imagine. Um, back to Richard Herring in the Richard Herring studio. Uh, the Traian Stanesco Arena. Um, thank you very much. Just uh, getting my uh, microphone, microphone plugged back in. That's, uh, that's how I'm planning ahead. You know, I'm not saying I've got better things to do, but it'd be nice to finish by half past eight. Enjoy... Uh, some time with uh, my wife and me one can have some time with his wife as well maybe that'll make up for it uh let's talk to me one he's just sitting down how are you feeling well it's so quick wasn't it it's over so quickly um just like um, my performance later with my wife i've still got a sense of humor i still can still laugh at myself um look uh i don't know what to say i've got to pull myself together like boris johnson i've just got to accept my mistakes move on and not go away and look like I'm a terrible loser but come back and just probably win the next election and still be prime minister for another 10 20 years probably get rid of the parliament altogether just become a sort of presidential figure and that's uh, metaphorically and just which means I'll be winning lots of friends uh look I've got to I you know I'm not going to lie I don't want to get uh, I don't want to make you know insult my fans i need to do a lot of work i need to do a lot get on that green board and practice all week i'll be doing that and um i am uh yeah i'm gonna come back stronger next week if we're doing it next week can't remember and uh, i am probably gonna be pretty 62 69 i mean 69 is embarrassing but it's not as embarrassing as 70 so Let's go over to Me Too, shall we? Well, that's for me to say, Me One. I, I, but yes, that was a poor post-match interview. Me Too, how are you feeling? Good, I mean bored. It's pathetic uh, that we have to go through this charade. It's already over. Bookmakers are already paying out to people who thought that Me Too would win, that's me, would win this tournament. There's, you know, They've accepted it's over. I hope that uh, Me One will accept it's over and I hope we can just get on with our lives. Uh, the result is basically there. Uh, but I'll keep coming back. I'll keep making that gap bigger and bigger. And, uh, and, and uh, yeah, tonight, me one, you're going to be sucking my cock while I... You, just, uh, I'll, your cock will be near my face, but I'll be going to go in like that. And I won't be sucking it because I won, so you have to suck my cock. I mean, it'd be easy if you just knelt down and suck it. But I think for the joke of the 69 to work, we have to be at least in the shape of a 69, even if we're not... I mean, it's hardly a 69, really. It's just two people with dicks in their mouths. Like if it's closer to a sort of, I was going to say an H, but not really be a weird H with two very, very close together and then two very short little bits in between. Um, so a ladder, it's a bit like a ladder. 
a human ladder where the rungs are made of dicks. Um, but uh, what I'm saying is I make friends ahead of another one. And so, uh, you know, 69. 69. Uh, Sybil, going to say, it all came to pass exactly like I said it would. Let he who has ears understand. Well, we've all got ears. Then you will all understand. I don't understand. We will understand. And Lord Chat Richard, because of all that I said, let no man put us under. What, the million views? <sighs> Negative a million it will be, probably. With you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the football scores. That's my favourite bit. I hope you enjoyed the puppet with Tippex all over its head. Um, very piercing blue eyes. I understand why uh, uh, it's captivated a nation. Hiding in plain sight, Sybil. The things she does <laughs> with the celebrity um, are not worth thinking about. Um, we'll be back next time. Twitch of Fun is not back this week, but hopefully if my book is completed this week, we will be back after Easter with Twitch of Fun. Um, Fist, of, uh, Fist of Fun is not coming back. Uh, Rahal is um, on tomorrow with Terry Christian, ironically. So uh, it's a bit like a Fist of Fun reunion. And we've got a book club with Greg Jenner this week on Friday, which will well be worth listening to. And then we've got a surprise guest next Wednesday if the interview comes off. And uh, hopefully Francesca Stavrakapulu on the book club next week. So do buy those books. Uh, do um, do your Twitch thing if you want to. Do Just tell your friends about, I mean, not so much this, maybe Rahula Stupper. And uh, from me and all the me's. Yeah, keep this secret. I don't really want people knowing I'm doing this. Could be, could you know, have a negative effect on the rest of my career. For me and all the me's, go and do your raiding. <laughs>